On today's Tips and Tricks, we're going to talk exercise and staying healthy and what you can do with a smartphone, Amazon, and your legs. That's all up next on Tips and Tricks. Collider Tips and Tricks, sponsored by Collider Sustaining Sponsors. Thank you for your support of the Rochester Entrepreneurial Ecosystem and donors like you. Welcome, everybody, to the newest episode of Tips and Tricks. My name is Jamie Sunsbach, and I am excited today to talk about fitness. Uh, a lot of you that know me probably don't think about how oh, Jamie and fitness go together, but I want to give you my biggest tip for staying healthy while you're doing uh, at-home work and you're isolated, and maybe it's the weather's bad and you don't want to go out for a run. Um, Getting you know great health, feeling better can be as simple as uh, jumping on Amazon and ordering one of my favorite products, which is the Yasuda Indoor Cycling Bike. So this is a really basic exercise bike. There aren't any bells and whistles here. It doesn't take up much space, and it comes with wheels on the front to easily store away when you need to. It's really easy to assemble right out of the box. It only took me about 20 minutes. It's not a Peloton. But I'll argue that really you can get 90% of the benefit of a Peloton at a much more affordable cost. My model came with a mount to hold a mobile device such as an iPad. It's quite simply one of the best purchases from Amazon so far. So just checking out Amazon here, I see the Yasuda is actually no longer available, which is just a major catastrophe for me because this is by far one of my favorite exercise products I've ever purchased. Uh, hopefully it'll be back in stock, but uh, I would say that you can go and you can probably find some comparable uh, bikes out there. So um, I see bikes from Sunny Health mostly. That's uh, one of the other providers I looked at, uh, as well as a few others. But really, I think you can you can get the benefits of things like a Peloton, like I said before, uh, for between two and three hundred dollars if you're on a budget. Uh, a little over 500 if you choose to go for um, a much higher model. I think many of them are probably almost exactly the same. That's really the key to this is uh, there's not much difference in, in engineering for a lot of these products. So uh, definitely uh, check the reviews. You know, if you're a Prime subscriber, make sure that it fits with Prime because it can be very expensive to ship. That's the Suda stationary bike. So that's the way I'm staying fit over the next couple of months. What about you? Do you have a favorite way of exercising at home? Uh, let me know by replying in the comments or shooting me an email to hello at collider.mn and I'd love to hear your tips and tricks. So for tips and tricks, I'm Jamie Sunsbach and I'll see you next time.